The functional assessment-based intervention model employs a systematic approach to designing, implementing, and evaluating functional assessment-based procedures developed by Umbright, Farrow, Leopson, and Lane, 2007. This video introduces you to the function-based intervention decision model, which is utilized in step four, designing the intervention. The function-based intervention decision model is used to help determine an intervention method. This tool resembles a flowchart as it guides teams in selecting the intervention by asking the following questions. One, can the student perform the replacement behavior? And two, do antecedent conditions represent effective practice? Based off answers to these questions, teams are guided to one of the following methods. Method one, teach the replacement behavior, which is for students with acquisition deficits, meaning they are unable to perform the replacement behavior under any given condition. Method two, improve the environment. Method three, adjust the contingency. These methods are typically selected for students with performance deficits, meaning they are able to perform their replacement behavior, but aspects of their environment or the contingencies need to be adjusted to support the student in performing their replacement behavior. Lastly, method one and two is a combination of teaching the replacement behavior along with adjusting the environment. Once a method for the intervention is selected, teams may begin drafting their intervention, incorporating antecedent adjustments to prompt the desired replacement behavior. Shifts in rates of reinforcement to increase the future probability of the desired replacement behavior occurring, and extinction procedures to, to decrease the likelihood of the target behavior from occurring. In other words, using these three components supports students by using adjustments to antecedent conditions to support more occurrences of the replacement behavior, reinforcing students for demonstrating the replacement behavior, and withholding consequences that previously reinforced the target behavior through extinction techniques. The function-based intervention decision model provides a systematic method for teams to select a specific method for the functional assessment-based intervention. In this illustration by Germer and colleagues, 2011, results of the functional assessment indicated when presented with an instructional task, David, a second grade student, engages in off-path behavior to access attention and or to escape tasks as determined by the function matrix. Using the function-based intervention decision model, the team determined the student could perform the replacement behavior and antecedent conditions did not re represent effective practices. Method two, improving the environment, was selected. An intervention was developed using the ARE components, including incorporating antecedent adjustments, shifts in rates of reinforcement, and extinction procedures. Each intervention tactic is linked back to the function of the target behavior as, it, as identified in step two, conducting the functional assessment. For David, this was to access attention and escape tasks. To learn more about the function-based uh, intervention decision model, you may read the book Functional Behavior Assessment and Function-Based Intervention, an Effective Practical Approach by Umbright, Farrow, Leopson, and Lane, 2007.